Yo, what's going on, guys? Today, I'll be showing you how to play probably the most consistent deck of all time. You know, people always think about 2.6 or something like that as being one of the most consistent decks, but I feel like RG just blows every single other deck out of the park. You know, it's not been as broken for as long as 2.6. That's true. Well, I mean, no, it's not that. It's just that 2.6 has been around for longer and been a little bit viable for longer, but RG is just always one of the very top meta decks, whereas 2.6 is just viable, but not really ever one of the top meta decks, at least as of recently it's not been one of the top decks as of the last few years really so yeah i think rg is really the way to go i think this guy actually is a goblin giant player i believe i feel like i faced him not super long ago i think i did lose to him he has the cannon here hopefully fisherman does kind of get onto it maybe stun it up a little bit yeah that was really good oh look at our hunter go crazy as well nice our hunter that's gonna maybe even get on the tower after this for a little bit of damage Oh my gosh, that just did 600 damage, guys. Wow. Okay, and guys, he wasted the tornado as well, so what we can do here is try to get our king tower activated off the bowler. This is a really good interaction that you guys should all know if you're playing Fisherman. Fisherman does take some skill to learn all the activations with. This is one of them. You go for a Fisherman like this, just lining up with your king tower against a bowler. Works against stuff like Executioner as well, and you just get a very nice king activation, which will be very clutch in this sort of matchup, I'm sure. Gonna go in here kind of aggressively. Um, I don't think our RG will get any damage here, but sometimes it's still nice to go in just to mess up their cycle a little bit. I mean, he defends easily, yes, but his his uh, cycle's a lot slower than mine, so we can get back to our stuff before he gets back to his stuff, I'm pretty sure anyways. And guys, a lot of people do run this deck with Phoenix over Hunter. You guys can do that too, but I just like to have the Hunter there to have a much better chance at beating Lava Hound. I kind of just hate losing to Lava Hound. You can beat it with Phoenix still, but Hunter's a little bit better against that stuff, so it's nice to have for sure. I'm actually going to ghost in the back on this side, just that way so we can apply some double lane pressure. Now I'll go for the RG here. If he goes for a low cannon, we're going to get a nice lightning on absolutely everything. Yeah, I'm going to go for this just to hit that stuff. I'm going to let the cannon go because ghost will kind of take it out. Uh, maybe I should have hit the cannon. I'm not really sure, but I think that worked out for the best, I would say. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, snap. He does pull that all the way away. Uh. Oh, Evo Skellies are carrying, man. What the heck? That did a better job than I thought it would. Fisherman does get some damage too. A lot of the time you do want to go opposite lane with RG, so I'm happy that we have the opportunity to do that now since we have a lot of damage here on this side. Yeah, I think I'll just go in for an aggressive RG. I might as well see, see what he wants to do about it. I'm just going to go for my lightning here. Very aggressive, I know, but we might be able to get away with it too, potentially. Okay, now this will be hard to defend for sure. Come on, pull it, pull it, pull it. Nice, we do pull it. Oh, let's go, guys. I was genuinely so scared. Guys, I thought I just lost the game for a second right there. I thought I overcommitted, but with RG, you have really cheap defense, so sometimes it is the right play to just go kind of aggressive like that, you know? Because, yeah, the defense is just so cheap sometimes, so it's, yeah, really not bad to go. Just a little bit aggressive at times. I think we should be able to defend here. Definitely going to take a lot of damage, though. Okay, this will actually be a pretty close match. We have to be careful of him getting to another Evo Bomber, but I don't think he'll get to it anytime too soon. So I think we're chilling for right now. I am going to go ahead and play this here and just get my Hunter off up high for maybe a cannon. Nice, I knew he'd go for the cannon up high there to try to avoid giving us much value. Phoenix will get wrecked by my Hunter. We can just go for the Evo Skellies here to counter the Bowler. We could always cycle two Lightnings, but I think it might just be better to keep on spamming the RG and trying to outcycle him, you know, whatever we need to do here. He definitely will go for a cannon up high. I knew it. We once again do predict him. I think this time we can try to get a lightning off here because we're going to get some value off on that bowler as well. Hunter's doing some great work. RG does get the final shot and that's good game. Alright guys, we're up against Lava Bean. This guy's probably from Jack and the Beanstalk. <laughs> I'm kind of glad we do have Hunter here. I was kind of considering whether Phoenix or Hunter would be better. But yeah, I'm pretty glad to have Hunter in this sort of matchup. Still not going to make it easy though at all. So guys, anyways, a couple of days ago I asked you what your main deck was, and I was honestly pretty surprised by some of the responses I got. Some people were saying that their first ever main deck was Recruits, Royal Hogs, and I just want to say you probably should have thought twice before maining something like that. And I'm just playing, but <laughs> I was actually pretty surprised by some of the decks I saw. <laughs> okay, what, man? This guy just... This guy really just does that. He doesn't even know basically what I have, but he still decides to do that. Least aggressive. Okay, no. No. Please, no. 
Most calm, collected, and cool Lava Hound player. <laughs> Guys, most calm, cool, and collected Lava Hound player, man. Oh my gosh. Well, I don't like to see this too much. Not really the greatest start for us, and I'm pretty sure that he's going to have Evo Goblin Cage as well, which is going to be pretty annoying too. And if he cycles like Skeleton Dragons or something, I'm just going to go in. Okay, I think I will go in once he plays something, because he has no Zap now, guys. So our Evo Skellies could actually go kind of insane. Okay, I'm just going to go in here. Dude, my R-Cycle is kind of weird, though. Like, we don't really have too much to do. Wait a minute. What? How the Man, my flying machine would never do that, guys. I swear. Some people's flying machines just get privileges, apparently. Guys, I swear. I swear, the privilege of that flying machine was crazy. <laughs> Yo, my, my flying machine would not do that. Dang, that's annoying. Kind of annoying for us that he has the tombstone as well, but I guess it's easier to break through than a goblin cages. Okay, I'm just going to go in here. We kind of have to try to get some sort of damage. Guys, also one more thing I wanted to ask you is, what do you think of 2v2 ladder now that it's all said and done? Like, do you want to see 2v2 ladder as a permanent feature in the game? Or, yeah, what do you guys think of it? And let me know how you guys think they should integrate stuff and all of that. Because the Supercell team, I feel like, has been more receptive than ever recently. So they definitely do want your feedback. And they want my feedback as well, which can be... Which my feedback can be some of your guys' feedback. Like, I can, I can kind of pass stuff along is what I'm trying to say. Alright, he does get that off. Um, oh my gosh, man, no. Let me get this off here. Please, guys, please. Guys, please. Okay, wait, how much damage does this do? Wait, that does enough. I think lightning does enough. With a log. Oh no, no! Don't panic, don't panic, guys, don't panic. Don't panic, guys. Okay, we got it, we got it. Oh, good game. Thanks to the hunter, we won. Okay, we're up against log bait. This will definitely be one of the more popular matchups you guys might face with this deck. Majority of people right now do seem to be playing log bait in the game. He does have dagger duchess, so it's most likely going to be a quicker cycle version. I'll just get my RG off here in the back. If he goes for a barrel, we do have our hunter. Unfortunately, Log is not anywhere near in cycle, which is not ideal. I believe we can get our king up here off this Valkyrie. Never mind, not anymore because of uh, because of that. Okay, no way. Hunter just deciding to mess up today for some reason. <laughs> All good though. RG may actually get a hit here if we're lucky. Nice, we do get one big shot there. Kind of makes up for the wall breaker that we took to the face. Dagger Duchess is just not doing anything. Dude, Dagger Duchess is literally just staring. Guys, I feel like this RG might be really good. Not sure, but I think, yeah, I think that's pretty good. Hopefully it kills the gang, mostly. It doesn't, but we get the E-Spirit off here, so I think we're chilling. We can just go for the Skellies here. I'm pretty sure he has no spell. Except the Barrel, of course. We do take a lot of damage, guys, but I'm not too worried about this, honestly. I think I'm pretty chill with this start. Yeah, guys, so off of the Valkyrie, you can always get your king up using a Fisherman, but it's kind of rough because this guy has the Wall Breaker, so you can always just spam them behind it, and we're kind of forced to defend instead of doing what we want to do. Yeah, I have to go for this up high. Please, Hunter. Okay, nice. Thank goodness that killed everything. Thought we kind of messed up there for a second. It is kind of hard to kill these Log Bait units here, though. That's the one issue for us. It does get pretty rough to kill them. All right. Unfortunately, our cycle is really not where it needs to be right now. We kind of have to waste our ghost. But for the next barrel, we do have our Evo Skeletons. Okay, I'm, I'm going to log this away because, yeah, for the barrel, we do have our Evo Skeletons. So that will fully counter. Oh, he does go for the barrel in the front, though. Luckily for us, he doesn't really get too much damage, though. Just going to go for my RG here at the bridge. Might as well. See what he wants to do here. Oh, he has the Evo Valk. Ooh, but he messed up kind of badly, actually. Nice, he really messed up there. Nice. Oh, dude, I predicted the wrong side. Dude, it was so obvious to go for the fake barrel that side, so I thought he tried to be extra smart and not do that, but then he still did do that. So then we take a lot of damage there. Man, Evo Barrel is so annoying. Like, that, Guys, that was so obvious that he would go for the, the real barrel on that side, but I thought he was going to be smarter and not do that. And try to play some mind games. Dude, it's just all about mind games with Evo Barrel. It's so annoying sometimes. Sometimes there's just no proper way to really predict stuff, you know? Okay, gonna log this Dark Goblin away. Kind of pesky to deal with at times. K 
can't really do too much here, I guess. Just gonna get this off and, uh, gotta play it cool, I guess. Try to get back to what we need to get to. Let's just go in here, I guess. Try to catch him in a bad cycle, maybe. Get this log off here. He might get a cannon down just in the nick of time. Oh, but we do get an RG hit, though. Big RG hit. We could get our king up here, but I don't trust that he's not going to spam us, so just going to do all of this first. And we do full counter. Okay, guys, perfect. I'm just going to RG at the bridge here. It's going to mess him up a little bit, I'm sure. We can log this all away. If he goes for a Valkyrie, it is going to get pulled right away. Even if he plays the cannon, it will get kind of messed up here. I'm going to actually get the lightning off here just to buy us a hit, maybe. Nice, do we take it? Oh, we don't take it. Okay, we have to be ready for a princess, guys. And, like, a Valkyrie, wall breakers, all of that spam. Oh, no, no. No, no, no. Come on, please. Oh, thank goodness. Guys, he could block this. Does he block it? Oh, I knew he would block it, guys. I'm just gonna lightning. Nice, good game. We found a match. Just gonna cycle my cheap cards here. Wanna just... Get to my Ghost and stuff. Ghost is really underrated, guys. Ghost is probably one of the better cards in the game. It's so good with RG, because when you play a Ghost, you can sometimes force out so much Elixir, or just get them into a really bad cycle, and then you can usually punish them after pretty easily. I do have to get my Ghost off here as well. He probably has Mega Knight, I think. Man, guys, after I record this video, I'm going to try some, uh, some wall handstands. I'm trying to work towards getting a handstand push-up. I'm not even, I don't even think I'm too close yet to it. I probably almost have the strength for it, but I just don't have the balance yet. So what I'm trying to do is just trying to like kick off into the wall. So like I get a handstand, but I have the wall behind me to balance a little bit, but I want to get it without it eventually for sure. That'd be really cool. All right. This will be decent here. I don't know. I think he has Inferno Dragon, which is going to be kind of hard to get through actually. RG used to have Fireball, so it used to be a bit easier because even though Lightning sounds better against an Inferno Dragon, it just will cost us so much Elixir, whereas Fireball is only four, so I don't know if this will be too good. I'm going to Hunter the back here on this side. We have our Evo Skellies if he gives us something to play them onto. I don't know. I'm kind of just chilling for right now. I don't want to really do too much. The truth is that we just need such a good push to actually be able to break through, so it's kind of rough. We'll see. This could be good, guys. This This could be good. Nice, you make him go for the Mega Knight instead of the Inferno Dragon, which is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted there. Now he could potentially get Bats off, because I wasted my E-Spirit. Yeah, that's exactly what he does. But we do have Hunter, luckily, which is fairly decent against all of this, I think. Nice, okay, we defend well. We got a little bit of damage, nothing too much, nothing too crazy, but I'll take it. We have our Evo Skellies, by the way, as well, so... If we need those, we can play them. Probably for a Miner or something like that. I'm nearly certain he does have the Inferno Dragon, so I'm still not wanting to be too over-aggressive. I'll just Fisherman here up high. I kind of just want to cycle my stuff and just wait until he does something funny, until he makes a funny move, and then I'll probably punish him for it. But yeah, we'll see. What does he want to play here? He does go for a Miner. I'll just get this off. Dude, this guy's playing so funny, man. He's just, like, not doing anything. So I don't, I don't want to do anything myself either, then, until he really does a big play, you know? He does get all of that off and protect his Skelly Barrel, but we just have Log anyways. He does waste the Evo Zap too. I'm kind of just glad that he wasted the Evo Bats, because those can be pretty annoying to deal with for our deck. He does go in for this. He's probably going to Miner too and a bunch of goofy old stuff here. Or I guess not this time. Okay. We do a pretty good job right there, actually. I'm going to go in for this. Oh no, Hunter, don't go in front. Oh, it is in front. Nice, I knew he would Mega Knight right there. Beautiful, beautiful fisherman. Let's go. RG's on the tower. Nice, beautiful E-Spirit there too, hitting majority of the Goblin Gang. And we do get a ton of damage. Nice. This is ex this is exactly how you want to play, guys, in this matchup. Because I know he has the Inferno Dragon, so I, I can't break through that. But somehow we're still breaking through just by setting up these Hunters kind of early. You can see, like, you don't want to go too aggressive with the RG's. But when you have, like, a Hunter down, then you play that. And then if they play the Inferno Dragon, you kind of just wreck everything. So, yeah, it's kind of working out. Nice, perfect timing right there. Oops. Guys, did I just lose? Dude, no way. Guys, no way. Okay, we have to cycle back. Wait, let's just cycle back. Instead of defending, let's just cycle to our lightning. How about that? Guys, please. Please. Please, 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 please. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Good game. All right, we're up against a miner right now. I'm going to go for the Electro Spirit Hunter this side. He could have minor wall breakers, maybe with Mega Knight. Maybe just one of those quick cycle versions. We have to be ready for both here. Okay, looks like Mega Knight. 
Mega Knight is going to be an interesting one. Usually Mega Knight is a fine matchup, but ever since Evo Mega Knight came out, it actually became a little bit more difficult because Evo Mega Knight is really broken against the Evo RG. Their Evos are a lot more useful than ours are in this matchup. Also, Evo Bats will be a pretty big nuisance to deal with, that's for sure. Kind of have to go for this Fisherman. Not really ideal, but not the end of the world either. Ghost should counter this. Yeah, okay. He's probably going to have a Prince and stuff like that too, so it's kind of hard to go for aggressive RGs without finding ourselves to get punished a lot. Okay, I know exactly what deck he has. I think... Well, at least I think I do. Okay, I think he actually has no Prince now that I think about it. Which kind of makes me want to go in, but at the same time, I feel like it's just not really possible. Otherwise, I get punished no matter no matter what scenario I think of. Alright, so we countered that well. Gotta go for the Fisherman here. We have to E-Spirit as well. We don't really need to save our E-Spirit because his next bats are Evo anyway, so... Yeah. I'm just gonna go for this. We have our Evo Skellies, which could bail us out of some situation, potentially. He actually missed the zap there on the Fisherman. Wow, that was a very bad zap. Very late, very bad. I might actually go for my RG here at the bridge at 10 because we have our Evo Skellies. So I think we'll probably get away with it. Yeah, a little bit of an aggressive RG here, but I think we can get away with it. You know, he wasted some of his good cards. He does get the Evo Bats off, though, which is kind of annoying. Evo Skellies luckily are chaining just temporarily, though. I'll let him get that bit of damage there because I kind of want him to go in the opposite lane of me. So I think that's not bad here. Hunter does get a nice shot off as well. All right. I'll play my E-Spirit here, just want to stop that Musketeer from doing too much. Just get the Miner off Saw Log here for good measure. Okay guys, pretty nice start here. We do also have to be very careful of a potential Evo Musketeer once he does get to that. He does go for a Mega Knight, I'm just going to go for this here, might as well. We can get like a Hunter off to DPS that down, and RG's going to town here on the tower. Honestly, the really only way he can punish us heavily is if he's going to get his Evo Bats in cycle, but he just wasted them not too long ago, so I don't think there's much he can actually do. I'm going to ignore the Wall Breakers and just go all in here, because I don't think there's any way for him to defend this. He might get an Evo Mega Knight off, though. Okay, we have to pull that. Nice, we do pull it. Perfect. So I think RG might just take the tower here. Unless his Mega Knight somehow yeets it back again. <laughs> Yo, what the heck is going on? Oh my goodness, what is going on? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh, dude, that's getting a lot of damage. Hold up. But not enough, though, I think. Yeah, there's no way. Okay. <laughs> He's laughing at us. Alright, that's a good game.